I greet you all in the name of the Lord. What of exaltation with Sister Renetta? I'll be exalting you on the topic, starting your day with the Lord. To stand means to begin doing something. The first thing you do when you wake up from bed will control your day. The first step towards getting somewhere is to decide you are not going to stay where you are. Decide not to remain at the background. Step into the front line by starting your day with the Lord. Staying at the background will take you backward, but stepping into the front line will take you forward. The future depends on what you do today. Start your day with the Lord. Starting your day with the Lord is the first step that will usher you positively into your day. Take the first step in faith. You don't have to see the whole staircase. Just take the first step by starting your day with the Lord. It's a new day. Begin your day with the Lord. Fresh start. Start your day with the Lord. Get your mind right. Once you get your mind right, everything else will follow. Be thankful. The most beautiful way to start your day is with a grateful heart. A grateful heart is a magnet for miracles. Be positive. Better days are on their way. Be positive knowing that no matter the circumstances or situations surrounding your life, you will not end in that situation. That is not your final bus stop. You are just on transit. One small positive thought in the morning will control your day. The way you start your day will determine the kind of day you'll have. In the book of Psalms 5 verse 3, the word of the Lord says, In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I lay my request before you and wait in expectation. Every day is a new beginning. Take a deep breath. Smile. And start again. He who runs to the Lord in the morning will surely find him. But he who runs away from the Lord in the morning will scarcely find him. If you seek me early and diligently, you will find me. I love those who love me. Those who seek me early will find me. Mornings are gift from the Lord. It is good for you to proclaim his unfading love in the morning. Mornings are better when you talk to the Lord first. You ought to see the face of the Lord before you see the face of man. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness by starting your day with the Lord. Don't face the day until you have faced the Lord in prayer. Start your day with the Lord and let each morning bring you new freshness and new things. Rise up, start fresh. See the bright opportunity in each new day. He who was seated on the throne said, I am making everything new. Revelation 21 verse 5. Start your day with the Lord and his grace will lead you. The will of the Lord cannot take you where the grace of the Lord cannot keep you. The grace of the Lord is immeasurable. The grace of the Lord is your inner strength. The grace of the Lord is new every morning. Start your day with the Lord and let each new day bring you new wisdom. If any of you lacks wisdom, he should ask the Lord who gives to all liberally without reproach. Start your day with the Lord and let each morning bring you new love. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Lamentations 3 verse 22 to 23. The mercy of the Lord and his steadfast love is renewed every morning. I want you to reflect on the following questions. Firstly, how can you start your day without the life giver? In the book of Psalms 36 verse 9, the word of the Lord says, You are the giver of life. You don't have any life on your own. I don't have any life on my own. We have to start our day by giving our lives back to the life giver. He is the air that we breathe. He created us from the doors of the earth and breathed into our nostrils the bread of life. Secondly, how can you start your day without the key holder who holds your day and your life? In the book of Isaiah 22 verse 22, the word of the Lord says, I will place on his shoulders the key of the house of David. What he opens, no one can shut. And what he shuts, no one can open. Can you get into your house without a key? Can you enter your car without a key? Obviously, no. Start your day with the Lord. Jesus holds all the key for all doors on earth. Take hold of my instructions. 
Don't let them go. Guard them for they are key of life. Proverbs 4 verse 13. The Lord holds the key for all doors. Be it the key of salvation. We have received God's gift of eternal life. For God so loved the world. That he gave us his son to save us from our sins. If only we believe. The key of God's love. God's love has been poured into our hearts by the Holy Spirit. Thirdly. How can you start your day without the planner for your life? Commit your ways to the Lord. Knowing that if he cares for the sparrow, he will care for you. Believe and trust in him that what he has promised in his word for you will surely come to pass. He has good plans for you. He made you, he will carry you. He will sustain you. He will rescue you. He will speak on your behalf. He will fight for you if only you involve him in the planning process. Don't walk the Lord into your program. Walk your program with and around the Lord. Fourthly, how can you start your day without the yoke and burden bearer? What can be lighter than a burden which takes our burdens away? And the yoke which bears the bearer himself. Jesus carried the burden of our sins so that he could give us the blessings of life. Cast your burdens to the Lord and he will sustain you. The safest and most reliable place for you to take your burdens to is at the feet of the master. Take your burdens to the Lord every morning and lay it at his feet. In the mighty name of Jesus. Finally, how can you start your day without the supplier of your needs? My God shall supply your needs according to his riches in glory. The earth belongs to him and everything that is in it. He supplies seed to the sower. Don't get tired of asking. Press on and he will grant you the desires of your heart. Because his word says, delight thyself in the Lord and he will grant you the desires of your heart. So shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. Also, how can you start activities for the day without the Lord? At times you sleep and you wake up. You look at your time You say, oh, I am late for my activities. I wish to ask you. Who gave you the day and the life? Had it been the Lord never allowed you to see the dawn of day and to be in good health? Will you go about the activities? Just reflect on that. Starting activities without the Lord is like the rich fool in the Bible. He said to himself, I'm going to tear down my bands and build bigger ones. That same night, the Lord said to him, you fool. This very night, your life will be demanded from you. He forgot to know that the Lord has power over life and death. Start your day with the Lord. How can you start your day without the author of your life? He knows the pages, chapters, paragraphs, sentences, words and full stuff for your life. He knows your future more than you know your past. He is the beginning and the end. He is the Alpha and the Omega. Start your day with the Lord. Besides, how can you start your day without the solution giver, problem solver, and prayer answering father? Your prayers don't have expiring dates. You don't know where, when, and how the Lord will answer you. In the book of Isaiah 65 verse 24, the word of the Lord says, Before the call, I will answer. While they are speaking, I will hear. Start your day with the Lord and he will provide answers to all your worries. And your rhetorical questions in the name of Jesus. In addition, how can you start your day without the sustainer of your life? In the book of Psalms 3 verse 5, the word of the Lord says, I lay down and slept. I walk again for the Lord sustain me. The Lord is your stamina. He is your speed. He is your strength. Start your day with the Lord and he will strengthen you in your weakness. Start your day with the Lord and he will speed the process for your next level in the mighty name of Jesus. More so, how can you start your day without the hope for your life? In the book of Psalms 23 verse 18, the word of the Lord says, Surely there is a future and your hope will not be cut off. Hope in the Lord by starting your day with him. At your lowest, the Lord is your hope. At your darkest, the Lord is your light. At your saddest, the Lord is your comforter. At your weakest, the Lord is your hope. Start your day with him by hoping in him. 
Furthermore, how can you start your day without the promise keeping father? God is not a man that should lie, nor a son of man that should change his mind. Does he speak and not act? Does he promise and not fulfill? Numbers 23 verse 19. The Lord is reliable. Start your day with the Lord. The Lord is dependable. Start your day with the Lord. The Lord is trustworthy. Start your day with the Lord. The Lord matches his word with actions. What he says will surely come to pass. He matches his word with action. I just want us to use few minutes of our time and talk to the Lord. Firstly, I want us to thank him for his timely words in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we bless you. We honor you for your timely words. My God and my Father, it is your desire to see us continually work with you. That is why you send your timely word to us. My God, thank you firstly for using this word to bless my soul. I honor you because all those that will listen to your word will be blessed tremendously. And at the end of the day, all glory, honor, adoration and reference will be given to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Secondly, I want us to pray. Maybe you have been starting activities without the Lord. Maybe you have not been consistent in your prayer life. I just want you to ask the Lord to forgive you in the name of Jesus. My God and my Father, your word says a broken and a contrite spirit you will not reject. You make me to understand in your word that if my people that are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and sing my face and turn from their wicked ways, I will hear from heaven. I will hear them, I will forgive their sins. You said if we confess our sins, you are just and faithful to forgive us from all our iniquities and unrighteousness. My God, we have come because we have few. My God, I pray for mercy. Oh God, they are coming back home like prodigal children. My God, a broken and a contrite spirit you will never reject. My God, you never came for the healthy, you came for the sick. It is not the healthy that needs a doctor, it is the sick. Have mercy in the name of Jesus. Tell him, maybe you have not been starting your day with the Lord. Because of the burdens on your shoulders. Burdens are lifted at Calvary. Maybe you have not been starting your day with the Lord because of the circumstances surrounding your life. Don't allow the circumstances to dictate or define what your future will look like. Bring that supplication before the Lord. His word says we should not be anxious about anything, but in prayer and supplication, let that request be made known unto him. Bring that request before him in the name of Jesus. Oh, gracious and most living God, Father, we pray that may you answer us speedily in the name of Jesus. Father, you know what your children are going through. You said if we knock, you will open. We are knocking at the door of your heart this day. May you open the door and grant our heart desires in the name of Jesus. Whatever your children are going through, Father, you are the all-knowing Father. I pray, oh God and my Father, may you step in and answer them speedily in the mighty name of Jesus. Therefore, I dwell on that mountain. Therefore, I dwell on that mountain of sickness. Therefore, I dwell on that mountain of rejection. Therefore, I dwell in that mountain of heartbreak. Father, I pray that you step in and answer them. Whatever the situation might be, is it barrenness? You prove yourself worthy in the life of Sarah by giving her, oh my God, and my father her Isaac. May you give them their Isaacs in the name of Jesus. Is it, oh Lord, singlehood problems? My God and my father, you created a male and female. May you connect them with their future spouses in the mighty name of Jesus. Lastly, for you to be a partaker of the heavenly things or for you to enjoy the things God has in his warehouse, you must be a child of God. And for you to be a child of God, you must renounce and forsake your sins. You must repent of your sins and follow the master. Please repeat this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I am a sinner. I am filthy. I am not worthy to be called your own. Come and be my Lord and my Savior. I renounce my ways. I don't want the work of the cross to be meaningless. I don't want, oh Lord, the work of the cross to be in vain. I accept you today as my Lord and my Savior. In the name of Jesus. Congratulations. Since you've prayed this prayer, you are welcome into God's family. You can look for a faith-believing church. And always worship and fellowship with the brethren. Read the word of the Lord so as to know him more. May the Holy Spirit help you as to do so in the name of Jesus. Amen. You can follow me on my Facebook page. What's up exhortation with Sister Renetta. And you can follow me on Instagram as Sister Renetta. Thank you for your time. Goodbye. And stay tuned for the second episode. Starting your day with the Lord. Goodbye.